All right, hey. Um, so here we have a balloon, right? And it's a funny looking balloon because uh, I'm all out of round balloons. All I have are these weird long uh, balloons. So um, I've got this balloon and I've drawn two things on it. I have drawn a uh, two points with a line between them and a series of waves. Now you can see that the two points are about a centimeter apart and the waves are, um, they have a wavelength of much less than a centimeter, maybe a couple millimeters. Um, and that's as much as we need to, to remember for this uh, uh, demonstration. So this isn't actually a balloon today. This is gonna be our model of the universe. Um, and so we're looking at the first piece of evidence for the Big Bang, cosmic microwave background radiation. When the universe began, it was very small, and uh, everything was condensed into a very tiny point. Um, and so the energy was jammed and compressed into a very tiny wavelength. But just after the Big Bang, space itself started to expand. And so um, what I'm going to do is blow up this balloon and see what that does to my energy. Now remember, these are very close together. These, um, these waves are very close together. This is a high energy, uh, very hot uh, wave. This isn't my favorite kind of balloon. Just let a little out. Okay. My son absolutely loves these balloons. Uh, and I hate blowing them up. They're so hard to blow up. But if I take a look at my um, model of the universe now. Well, these are hard to see. Let's see how well this comes through on my camera here. You can make out the faint, faint, faint definition of my wave there. And when I add my ruler to my wavelength, we can see that I am well over a centimeter for wavelength. Can you see that there? Ah, uh, you can't. Shoot, let's try this. Let's see if I can do this without popping it. So far, so good. And while I'm at it, let's find those two points. There we go. So now that it's been expanded, I take the same ruler and you can see that now where I was a millimeter or so, uh, now I'm at least a centimeter apart on these wavelengths. Um, and when I look at the two uh, dots that were just about a centimeter apart, you know, now I'm, uh, what am I, uh, maybe five centimeters apart. This is a good representation of the universe. What's happening to the energy level of this wavelength? As the wavelength expands, the energy decreases, which means that the temperature is going to decrease. This is the wavelength that we're seeing in the sky as we turn up our antennas to the sky and we measure the background radiation that permeates space. We're seeing this leftover energy because where it used to be very condensed and very hot and very tiny, as the universe expanded, it stretched out the frequency of that energy. It stretched out the wavelength of that energy. So now we have a much lower energy background radiation left over that exists uniformly across space. It's the same almost everywhere. It's just completely stretched out and flattened out. The, that high energy that was there is, is, is now um, uh, uh, now this low energy, uh, cool temperature background microwave radiation.